This is a training video on how to create and use a coupon in the Liberty 5 point of sale. The first thing we have to do is create the coupon. Once we open up the point of sale, we'll be greeted by the welcome screen. Once the welcome screen is open, we go ahead and click on the more button. And then we click on coupons located in the middle of the point of sale welcome screen. Next, we click the add button to add a coupon. Now we have to determine which kind of coupon type we need to use. If we drop down the coupon type, there are four coupon options we can look at. The variable amount allows us to type in a flat rate at the moment we enter the coupon. The flat amount allows us to create a predetermined coupon that is a flat dollar amount taken off at the point of sale when the coupon is used. The percent coupon type allows us to create a coupon that will take a predetermined percentage off the sale amount. By default, with coupons, the store will usually take the hit on the cost net. With the split with consigner coupon type, the cost will be split between you and a consigner. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the percentage rate coupon. We'll go ahead and select that. We can then create a description for what this coupon will be used for. In this case, I'm going to use it for an employee discount. Next, we're going to specify what percentage we're going to be taking off of the sale. In this case, I'm going to type in 10 for 10%. The Activate On Date option here allows us to determine when this coupon will start. The Expires Date option will allow us to determine when this coupon ends, thus eliminating any possibility of a employee being able to use this coupon when it should not be used. The maximum value allows us to specify what the maximum amount of money is that can be taken off of a sale. The GL account, otherwise known as the General Ledger account field, allows us to specify what QuickBooks General Ledger account we would like this to flow into. The GL account type allows us to select which account type in QuickBooks we would like to use. I'm going to go ahead and type in for the GL account employee discount. Typically as an industry standard, it is best to copy the description of the coupon into the general ledger account field. I'm then going to select this as other expense. Your tax type determines whether this coupon is taxable or not. I'm going to leave this blank. We'll go ahead and click the save button and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go ahead and click finished and then make a new sale. I will bring up an item and then I will show you how to apply the coupon discount. Very important, a percentage-based coupon should only be applied after we ring up items. So for this sale, I only have one item. I'm going to go ahead and click on the coupon button located at the right side. Then I'm going to select employee discount. This will then apply the 10% discount on the sale. Then we can go ahead and apply our payments that the customer will be paying with. In this case, I'm going to select cash. There is no balance due, and then I will click finish. We can then enter the email address or the zip code of the customer, or we can leave a blank if we don't collect that information, and we can select whether or not we want to print a receipt. And that's it. This was a video on how to create and use a coupon in the Liberty 5 point of sale. Thank you.